If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Are you looking for Rebel Clash codes? They are already available on Poton Store, as you can see, and you can use Tableman code for 5% off or for any purchase of all the other code cards they have. For the European players, Millipods Gaming has everything you need from collectibles to all the new Pokemon Sword and Shield cards and Rebel Clash is now in stock. Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TC Worlds! Um, Excadrill I think was the most voted on, so that's what we're gonna um, take a look at. Thanks so much Jason for the support and helping me with my regular account. I'll get there, yeah I'll get there. It doesn't have to be immediately and the whole month of June that'll be my main focus, so we'll get there. Yeah we'll get there. Thank you so much for the support. So. Excadrill, the, um, one of the most talked about cards since the Limitless Q3, mostly because um, you can drill Bazooka to one-shot a Pikaron, which is pretty impressive, right? You do get to discard the top of cards of your deck, but there's not a lot of things that can one-shot a Pikaron with a single fighting energy, and given how Pikaron is being considered the best deck in the format, then um, why not, right? So, yeah, the one of Great Ball, very peculiar the three crushing hammers also very peculiar um, a lot of interesting things in this list we do have substrika for the sprint ability to help go through resources and find what we need they, it also helps us achieve the 11th hour tackle attack which does 30 plus 150 more if we have three or fewer cards left in our deck uh, we do have the Anti prism to increase our damage output we have ditto essentially as a fifth drill bore or a fourth um, blitzel we have the Dennis, we have Fionn's, we have Crushing Hammers to attack energy, we have Research and Marnie, we have Brock's Grid to replenish the deck along with Palpats as well, we have Boss's Orders, we have the Martial Arts Dojo, we have a bunch of energy, and we have four Ordinary Rod because we will be discarding a lot of different pieces throughout um, the different games, but obviously having a one-shot capability against the top deck is very, very appealing. What worlds are you on the road to? 2021, I guess. <laughs> I, I've stopped saying um, I've stopped saying the year because clearly the road to worlds 2020 is cancelled, and I guess 2021. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Some worlds, right? Would you like to go first? Yes. I mean, technically, right? The tournament, the players' cup in August is kind of like worlds in a way maybe big maybe it's a stretch So, <laughs> off to the good old, let's start the NAG action and again. Okay, so I mean, this is a discarding deck, right? So, might as well. Hopefully, our second the is not prized. It's not. My opponent started the Denny as well, so that's kind of good for us, I guess. Um, let's grab this guy. And then let's go bench, let's go ordinary rod, shuffle the energy back in. Let's attach the U-turn board, let's attach the energy, and let's dead it change. And okay, with this hand, I definitely want to set up a blitzel so I can get going next turn, right? And given the current circumstances, I'll set up another drill board as well. And I will pass. I don't want to immediately put back the Brock script. I guess I will next turn, but I don't want to top deck Brock script, you know? Jake, I really don't think so. I don't think that's what's going to happen. Or maybe it will. I, I actually don't know. 
maybe it will I actually don't know but like I'm not worried about what other people are going to do you know because those bots won't help them in winning the trip to the international championship right if you can't qualify to the players cup without bots then what chance do you have at winning the actual prize you know so sure if people qualify with bot accounts it's none of my concern right i'm gonna qualify the right way and i'm gonna try and make it to the august tournament and i'm gonna try and win the the tournament right so in the end like i think people blow things so out of proportion not saying not saying jake is right or anyone here is i'm saying like i'm more concerned about what i'm going to do right i'm more concerned about what i'm going to do how i am going to qualify if other people want to use bots if that's the only way they can qualify well they're not going to make it past the next round right there'll be a buy next round okay so as long as i get to qualify it's all i need right that is actually all i need Okay, so I guess I'll replenish this and let's go for the sprint. I do 3 hit KO VMAXs, tanking this hit is actually pretty nice, actually pretty nice. Okay, so let's do this. You made an Excadrill anti-exploder, nice. I definitely didn't make this one. This one is all the props to the player whose name is Nicola Sapula top 64 at the tournament okay i wish this let me two hit ko but it doesn't wait oh yeah i played marty uh drill bazooka oh wait 150 and then next turn if i have this then maybe i can two shot this guy Ooh, maybe i should have kept this yeah maybe i should have kept that yeah it's, I, like it's the same logic right like the people who complain that I have a demo account and that I play and I have all the cards, right? It's like, does that make me a better or worse player? No, right? That's completely independent. So why are you so concerned about what cards I do or do not have versus your own cards and your own playing ability? But people just like to complain. Yeah, people like to be in other people's businesses to each their own, yeah? To each their own. Like if I join a tournament where the player has six bots himself and myself, then it's an easy final for me. Probably an easy one for me, right? Because will Azul use bots? Will I use bots? Will Tord use bots? Will Nico Alabas use bots? Will Alex Garcia use bots? No, right? So let them be. <laughs> Leak some names and I'll bring the the pitchforks. Nah. <laughs> nah. No need. No need for drama, right? Like my my philosophy of life, right, is that everything has an emotional investment to it, right? Or every everything you do, you dedicate time and emotions. Some things are just not worth the emotional investment, right? Of like thinking about them, you know? So they wanna talk, let them talk. It's completely, completely on them. Uh, okay, I don't think this crushing hammer is potentially good. Not establishing another drill war is really bad here. Because if my opponent has welder, then I'm dead. For a, for at least a turn. And that accomplished the exact same thing. I guess now I'm not one hit KO'd, so that's good. Should I attach here? Nah. Well I'm a little scared about the amount of cards I have left though. <laughs> So many supporters gone too. Okay, ditto, there's ditto. So if I survive this hit, then that's pretty good. Right? <laughs> I am a fellow human who will play in the tournaments too. Yeah. Oh, that's a really cool emote, the crushing hammer. <laughs> I like it, Jason, I like it. 
Oh, right, Rigo. I could have just used 11th hour tackle, right? Oops. <laughs> right, there's another attack. I should not have done that. You are correct, Rigo. You are correct. Thanks for pointing that out. Thanks for pointing that out. I definitely could have. Um, could have not discarded. I could have just used the first attack. So what did I discard? I discarded some pretty important cards, especially this one. Oopsies. <laughs> Oopsies. I'm a bit distracted with the with the conversation in chat. Chip has good emotes, yeah, that's true. It's been so long since I updated my emotes. Oh, nice, Mr. Soda King. Congratulations on making affiliates. We need a baby boss replacement. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> the grand emote. <laughs> Why would like when do you even use the grand emote? <laughs> okay. No welder is really good news here. <sighs> Losing the boss's order was really sad though. Because I've lost my palpas too. Yeah, oh, imagine if I hadn't done that silly thing. It's the derp emote. So when like, when Chip makes a mistake, is that it? Have I lost here? I probably have lost. I've probably lost. Oh, he does have Welder, never mind. Yeah, I can't win. I can't win this game. I can't win. I needed my opponent to like whiff a bunch. I needed my opponent to whiff a bunch. Or I needed to at least tank a hit, but I wasn't tanking that hit. It was exactly 190 damage. It was exactly 190 damage. All right. Alrighty. Why did I discard the Fion? Isn't it the guarantee against taking out? Oh, maybe it is. I had not realized that too. That's really good, actually. Yeah, I'm learning. This is absolutely the first time I'm even like seeing the list. I, I built, I copied it, I built it. I didn't have time to practice with Excadrill. So this is absolutely the first time I'm playing with it. Yeah. And yeah, like I eventually, if I have three cards left, I would use the first attack, right? Instead of the second one, which does 150 damage. So I feel like I would only deck out, like, it would be very silly if I actually decked myself out, which I wouldn't put it past me, right? When I'm streaming, <laughs> I'm definitely not at my top level. And it's so funny that that really gets on people, on YouTube comments especially. <laughs> Fortnite dance? No, Alec. Like, I don't even know the Fortnite dances. How can I do a dance that I don't know what it looks like at all? I do need to... I need to update so many things. Which placement was this deck in Q3, Jason? It was top 64. Exactly 64th place. A Mario voiceover. <laughs> yeah, that, that I could do. Primate Wisdom to protect important resources. The issue is the bench space, right? Well, I guess maybe not so much. Yeah, or Angru could be good. Blue CCDI, yeah, I actually like that. Being conservative with your Angru sounds like it could be um, really good for this, actually. Okay, let's remove the energy. Nope. Let's Pokecom. The Excadrill feels more important to conserve, right? And then let's go attach, let's do like this, let's do like this. 
Do I have boss disorders? Nah. Let's go dead it change. Oh nice! This is actually pretty sweet. Well, let's go. I probably should have Pokecomed one. <laughs> okay, this is this is good enough. This is good enough. Speaking of Fion, right? Speaking of Theo. So I will use Does the mod slab damage matter? In the grand scheme of things, doing 10 damage. So the 320 HP Lapras VMAX. I'm fairly sure it doesn't. Fairly sure it doesn't. So I'm just gonna put the boss's orders back. Yeah, I am on my demo right now, J Fan, for sure. Yeah, is that why you thought I wasn't missing much? Yeah, I'm I'm like for videos, for especially for decks like this, like I have to use the demo account. Right? Because I don't have anywhere near all the cards to make um like if I don't have meta decks, I definitely don't have um, the really the really out there decks. Yeah, I think I missed a few follows, so sorry about that. Magical spec, Uncle Habibi, and Caden. Thank you so much for the follow. Okay, my opponent has a dead turn right here, which is really nice for us. Really, really nice. Don Child, thanks so much for the follow as well. Let's go ahead and shuffle. Uh, I probably didn't need to shuffle that actually. Uh, okay, let's have the film. Yeah, you know, let's keep the film available. Ooh, that's not great. <laughs> Where are my excadrills, friends? Where are my excadrills? Okay, I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna. Okay, now two mod slaps might have made a difference, but oh well. Oh well, Z's. <laughs> there you go, Jason. Yeah, so that's why you know I'm missing a bunch. Yeah, like this is definitely not my regular account. Uh, you're getting back into the game because you did drop out when attack teams everywhere. The Malamar team deck is so fast. Yeah, Malamar can be pretty good, I agree. Okay, I'm just gonna put this here. And attach here, and then let's go sprint. Can I find an Excadrill? No, I cannot. <laughs> I mean, I also can't find a supporter, so I'm just gonna dead it change, honestly. <laughs> I really need to do something, you know? Oh, and I'm also doing 20 because of the Tojo. No, my other Detene is prized. Okay, I'm just gonna start attacking with my super powerful Drill Borer. Mod Slap, almost a knockout. Well, like, it's three turns. <laughs> three turns. <laughs> I discarded the other Detene. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Oh, I just discarded it with the Substriker. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Jason. Like, if, if I take the time to make it, yeah. Uh, Don Child, yeah, I have a special demo account that was provided to me by Pokemon because essentially I do marketing them for free, right? Pokemon, I have no affiliation to Pokemon, no official affiliation to Pokemon. Um, they don't do anything to help my videos. So what does happen is um, in me making the videos, obviously I encourage people to get into the game, to learn about the game to find out about the game, right? And therefore, their way of supporting me is, oh my God. their way of supporting me is through providing me with this account that has four of every card. Therefore, allowing me to have an easier time making the videos, right? Therefore, uh, more people get into it, right? So it's like, it's a combination of things. The easier time I have making videos, the easier it is for me to showcase the decks and therefore the easier it is for them to, or the more people get into the game, right? It's as simple, it's as simple as that. Um, so that's how demo account works, yeah? I'm fairly sure they've stopped uh, giving them out um, to content creators and now they only give them out to um, casters. They only sit like, there was a very big period where it didn't give out any. The only people I know that have gotten demo accounts since then, since then, are Joe from Omnipoke, right? Who is who has casted tournaments before official tournaments and Trainer Chip. So that's the the way. Yeah. 
So unless you're an official caster, I wouldn't get my hopes up of having one. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. So do I take the initiative with the boss's orders on the Lapras, or do I actually KO the Frostmoth? If I only take this knockout, I don't have to worry about... Yeah, I'm just gonna go after the Lapras, honestly. Um, I don't have to discard, but I think it's fine. Do I attach to Diancy? Yeah. And let's recover energy. And then let's go drill Bazooka. Okay. Uh, so let me read chat a little bit. Lumos, way back in the day through a mutual friend, Ian Rave, your list and book helped me so much. Thank you. There you go, Lumos. There you go. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, that's the whole point of my channel, right? That's the sole reason I started my channel. All right. You can't play in the Player's Cup. Why not? Did I run back to Drill Boris? Did I? I don't, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, does that answer your question, Don Child, about the demo account? Yeah, I get, oh, you type, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, all right. So, wait, my opponent didn't attack me? What? Why wouldn't he attack me? I'm just gonna continue to drill Bazooka. And then next turn I can start using 11th hour tackle. That's good. Goodbye, Fion. So technically I have my prizes here, right? However, I am down my three palpats and my two boss sorters, so never mind. <laughs> never mind. Yeah, Chip just got one for casting, exactly. Road to World 2022. Hopefully 2021. Right? Hopefully 2021. Is the music still on? Yes, it is still on. Good. You have more people getting into the game and you get older cards. Yeah, it's a win-win, exactly. It's a win-win for, for them because they help me in facilitating the videos, which get people into the game, which then um, generates revenue for them, right? So it's they provide me with this as a marketing tool for themselves and it's a working tool for me, right? So it's a win-win for everyone. Why not Road to Player's Cup? Just because I can't be bothered to design a logo for something that's only going to to happen um, once, hopefully. We could start calling it Road to Player's Cup. <laughs> Road to Player's Cup. All right. So like generally we're just winning this game because of my opponent's like horrible draws. Maybe he's hoping that I'm gonna um, that I'm gonna deck myself out somehow. I do have ordinary run, I have Marnie. I can put back the Fion for infinite looping, so that's good, although I don't have the bench space for that. But yeah. Just copy paste a bad paint text over the world channel. <laughs> that would look really funny, right? That would actually look really funny, like Road to Player's Cup. <laughs> Pro 2 players come. And like, yeah, really badly typed to make it even more ironic. Alright, there's the VMAX. 320, so I need to deal 180, and I deal 170, although I have my Martial Arts Dojo, so I have perfect knockouts on this Lapras VMAX. Just, just enough. Yes, today is my birthday, Jace fan. <laughs> today is my birthday. Today I turned a VMAX myself. I turned 32 years old. Okay, so my opponent actually trying to deck me out. That's not very nice, opponent. That's not very nice. Your own stadium is not helping you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess that is my last energy, so that could have been a problem. Um, okay. <laughs> Table 1 VMAX with 320 HP, indeed. Thank you so much, Chase fan. Thank you so much, Rigo. Thank you so much, Kaden. <laughs> More Pico was 30, true. So maybe I was a VMAX before VMAXs were cool. There you go. <laughs> I think I might be like one of the oldest pro players. 
I think I am one of the oldest pro players that still play, right? That are still like actually involved, heavily involved in the game. Thoughts on Italian VMAX? That's lost baby. Well, actually, I think Ross is younger than me. Ross, I think Ross is 32 or turns 32 in August. So Ross is younger than me for a few months, I believe. Um, Intelli VMAX, I think it's pretty good, but it's just not great when Pgrom is the best deck in the format. Um, definitely has merit, right? Definitely has merit. However, um, however, I don't. Um, I wouldn't have like high expectations of it, like being a very good ar archetype until. Um, until Pigram is no longer a thing, right? I wouldn't get my hopes up. Okay, so that's Excadrill for you. Yeah, decent deck. Better than I thought it would, right? Like, my expectations were, were here. Excadrill's um, performance was here. Although, like, those three turns where I just couldn't find an Excadrill that, like, Picarum, Dragapult, Station ADP, I would have been immediately punished, right? I just so happened to be playing against Lifeless VMAX, so I wasn't, but um, any regular standard deck would have definitely punished. So, now, <laughs> thank you so much, Boosie K, for the 320 bits. Thank you so much for the 320 bits. <laughs> I guess equal to my HP. Thank you so much, Boosie K, I really appreciate it. And Salva, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. So, you guys decide what you want to watch next, yeah? We have Cinderace, Screams Boltant, Intellion, Luxray, Rillaboom, and Darkbox. Don't go anywhere, I will be right back in just a second. Make sure you type in chat so I know what deck you want to you want me to play. And DCTCG, thank you so much for choosing to use your Twitch Prime subscription on the channel. I really appreciate it. Don't go anywhere guys, I'll be right back.